Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Donnie Darko from 2001. It's directed by Richard Kelly and stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Jenna Malone. And I cannot stress enough that I watched the theatrical cut of Donnie Darko, as after watching the director's cut once way back when, I have been watching the theatrical cut ever since because I know which is the superior cut. The theatrical cut of this film, back when it was first released, was a marvel of a thing. A tale of mental illness, paranoia, delusions, and time travel, or at least that's what spoke most to me, who at the time was going through a lot of mental health shit myself when I first saw this film, when it hit DVD at the end of 2001 or the beginning of 2002. Anyway, the director Richard Kelly got his hands on the deleted footage and cut together the version of the film he wanted people to see, and it had symbolic water and I believe aliens at one point and it was like what the fuck the director's cut of this film is possibly the worst director's cut I can think of for any movie ever with a close second being the director's cut of the butterfly effect also, the bully played by Seth Rogen in this looked similar to my junior high bully who is now one of my dearest friends in the oddest twists of fates that not even a movie could do justice to. And I have a huge crush on Seth Rogen, so seeing his character in this makes me do mental gymnastics on several different levels. Anyway, I think whoever took that director's cut and mined out the theatrical cut should be applauded even though nowadays the film doesn't make any more sense than it did back then. But unfortunately, we've learned more about Richard Kelly, the writer-director, as we let him make two more masturbation projects, Southland Tales, and The Box. Both of which are just as wild and incoherent as the director's cut of Donnie Darko. Which means that now Donnie Darko doesn't have the same bite to it it used to have. It's still a good watch, but it meanders and seems to weave in and out of the main narrative whenever it damn well feels like it. I can still watch it today and remember what it felt like to see it for the first time, so that's good, I guess. There's also a sequel called S. Darko about Donnie's youngest sister, Samantha, and I don't think I was even able to finish that film because it was too terrible to watch all the way through. Well, if anything else, we can all rest assured that Richard Kelly's career is probably dead, as his last film was the 2009 mess, The Box. I'm giving Donnie Darko a C+, because it just doesn't hit the same as it did the first time, or the second, or the third. Tomorrow I watch the unrated cut of the film Doomsday. See y'all then.